Blessings, beloveds. The following is an excerpt from our March Presence event that was focused on Mother Plasma. This clip comes in about halfway through the two-hour presentation, and I wanted to provide about 30 minutes of content just to keep everyone updated on what it is that we are exploring in presence and what we are diving into as far as the connection between all the intel that's been received over the last 20 years about plasma, about mother plasma, and the new scientific discoveries in the last couple of years about plasma itself. Even though we're not presenting the whole thing here on YouTube, you can always watch the entire two-hour replay with all the activations and all the intel uh, on my website at ascensionpath.com. But what we wanted to do here was just share some of this information so that in your light work or in your journey of ascension, you can actually see the uh, grounded science that backs up what uh, what plasma, crystalline plasma, mother plasma actually is. And then we shed the science all together and we just dig into uh, what cosmic mother plasma is actually doing to create the realm ship to support our ascension. I hope you enjoy it. If you would like to explore more or if you would like to join the Presence Collective, please visit ascensionpath.com. Science first with parallels <laughs> to light intelligence. So let's just start with the science so that all of us can have intelligent conversations and kind of build a bridge. I like to include some scientific information so that everyone can stay a little grounded and can kind of see where science is and its journey. Might all those dear brothers and sisters who are like, oh, we discovered this, this is everything. That's, they've done it with plasma right now, so here we glow. According to science, plasma is called the fourth state of matter. Mm. Solid, liquid, gas, plasma. They're looking at it as a, a, a state of matter, which is kind of fun, because some plasma physicists are saying it's actually the first state of matter because it births all the other states. Keep that in heart as we move on. So right now, plasma physics is saying it's a fourth state of matter, but it's, it's a little backwards. So according to science, plasma is a pre-matter state containing highly charged ions and particles. So science is currently saying that 99% of the universe is plasma. So now they discovered plasma fields, plasma clouds, different kinds of plasma, all the stars, everything are wrapped in this plasma. It's kind of interesting. According to science, it's unclear how many types of plasma there are. So keep in heart, it's not just one thing. Some examples of plasma, the sun, right? Stars, the photon belt is plasma. Uh, plasma clouds are around earth and physical planets. Here in the Gaia realms, the aurora borealis, lightning, ball lightning, and even our magnetosphere contains plasma. You can see how pretty it is when the aurora borealis comes in. But keep in heart, magnetosphere also contains plasma. Now these plasma clouds and fields that they are observing are invisible, right? They're looking at energy, they're measuring energy. And they're noticing that the energy is different, right? So you get these, these uh, clouds or fields that um, not only contain these particles and these high, highly charged ions that kind of throw off uh, electrons because it's so highly charged, it, it can't do anything else. It can't, um, it can't hold that state because they're so highly charged, but it also contains many types of waves. They are noticing. These are unified intelligence which can self-organize. Science is noticing that those waves and those particles consistently in those plasma clouds, most popular, most present one is called dusty complex 
plasma, if you want to get technical. But they're noticing that they self-organize. So note the ordering quality or that unified state that plasma holds, according to science, right? They're looking at it and they're going, wow, these uh, waves and everything tend to self-organize. They're not just willy-nilly. They're, they're maintaining their focus, right? They're maintaining a certain level of energy or certain kinds of waves. Plasma also conducts electricity, which allows it to flow along rivers in space connected by electromagnetic fields. Visualize that. You have plasma fields that can conduct electricity. When you get a magnetic field that shapes that flow, all of a sudden you get the plasma flowing in, right? Notice how similar that is to, well, it is, what happens during a stargate alignment with the opening and the alignment. All of a sudden the magnetics change and these rivers of light come in across vast areas of space. According to science, across vast areas of space, this plasma river can flow if all these different electromagnetic fields create that. Keep that in heart. Another strong point about plasma. Plasma can birth matter, shifting from a non-atomic state to atomic states. That's non-matter to organic physical matter. Keep that in heart. Plasma holds light intelligence and can be influenced by higher vibrational plasmas. So there's many different kinds of plasmas, and they notice that sometimes the plasma fields can be influenced by something that's vibrating faster, higher energy fields, very similar to quantum effect what we've all been talking about, about the higher vibration affects the lower, shakes it, absorbs it, turns it into something new. Keep that in heart. Plasma. <laughs> I love this. Plasma can also organize crystalline structures within it. Plasma physics words, not mine. Such as helixes, hexagons, and filaments. Goodness, beloveds, do you see the parallels with uh, our divine DNA being of a part of the cosmic soup that is out there, right? So you create, it's just like what we're doing in our bodies. I'll get that, but feel it, creating the crystalline structure so that something new can be birthed right into form already. Very parallel to the DNA expression, of course, creating helixes, our own expression, creating a DNA helix. So the I am, the higher levels, the Christ itself, you, your soul, your oversoul can create into form. Feel that. All right. So this is revealing creation dynamics. The more plasma physicists get into it, it's kind of revealing creation dynamics. They get very excited uh, because it changes form. It births form. It might even create realities. Some uh, physics folks, some plasma physics folks uh, are, are trying to connect the spiritual because ideally science is always looking for God, right? So at first it was dark matter and then it was strings and then it was quantum and then it's, now it's all about plasma. Okay. The photon belt is a plasma cloud. So it's these self-organizing particles that change other plasma fields when the electromagnetic conditions are met. Feel into this. We've always said that the photon belt contained photonic order, right? It was a divine ordering principle. And as we went in to this photon belt when our magnetosphere was low and all these different magnetics are happening in the solar system. 
that we would be become susceptible to divine order. Do you see the self-organizing principles that are within plasma, especially in higher vibrational plasma that contains more waves, which are just harmonics, right? It's just that etheric substance that's starting to literally change form, change our own plasma, change our own fields. Okay. Plasma clouds and fields may inform and interact with each other. The more organized, higher vibrational coherent charge influences the less organized plasma field. Same as what we've been saying for the last 20 years. Science says it interacts with a mysterious background plasma. Drop the mic, throw the notes away. <laughs> okay, here we glow. In our higher love light intelligence, we've been talking about the cosmic mother plasma field. In science, they have discovered that there is some kind of mysterious background plasma that all the other plasmas and all the other fields and all the other creations are interacting with. And somehow this background plasma is causing the other plasmas to birth stars and realities and planets and everything else. So for the last 20 years, I've been talking about the cosmic mother as the background energy for all of creation. I'm just really in love with the fact that they're using the same uh, background right term, background energy, which we know as the cosmic mother field or the unifying background energy of creation. So cosmic, let's bring it now into our higher Christ intelligence. This cosmic mother is using this mother plasma field to evolve consciousness and create ascension. So everything that we've heard about from science about all these different plasmas and how the plasma field interacts, mysterious background energy, mysterious cosmic mother plasma, right? Cosmic mother, not the plasma, but using this plasma as a way to birth form. So all of these things coming into play, how it self-organizes and when it's charged, when it, it love light intelligence comes from this mysterious background energy, it tells it to do something new. It can actually birth things or flow new intelligence, new structures into another plasma field. Mm, beautiful. Already, solar wind is plasma. Let's just focus on Gaia now. Solar wind is plasma. CMEs, flares, filaments, plasma waves. You'll notice that uh, plasma waves are very different and complex. So stars, suns, all these CMEs, filaments, flares, deliver solar plasma that is different, right? Information and upgrades. This solar wind kind of, um, the they've noticed, this is science, it's emanation swells. So science shows that the sun is part of a larger system. It's receiving and emanating from some higher intelligence, from some other plasma flow. So the sun breathes and expands and contracts day by day. Uh, this is why each solar event is unique. Each gateway is unique. Each, and the more sensitive we become, the more you feel flares in a different way, CMEs in a different way, filaments in a different way, right? The plasma itself is different. And the sun is informed, as we all know, from galactic center, other stargaze, grand central sun, cosmic mother, you know, all of these different things that we've been working with for eons with the gateway. So note the um, intensity now that you don't need. Uh, now there's plasma events, plasma flowing in that do not create a flare or CME or any of the stuff on the chart. So that's what we're starting to feel. It's key to understanding gateway influxes and stargate flows. So here we draw the line. Let's get into the light intelligence. According to all the guidance, plasma is actually an advanced state of water. 
water intelligence and will support uh, shifting from a physical state of matter to a lighter state as we go through the ascension. So this gives, even though um, plasma discoveries give uh, grounded backup or context to higher light, new light, photonic order, the crystal stargate flows, and the purpose of creating crystal instruction structures in the body in order to receive that and crystalline DNA and where it comes from and that a coherent Christ crystalline heart stargate actually changes the magnetic so you can receive things because it's all based on magnetics, right? You can see all of the connections here. Mag so whether or not you believe that plasma is fourth state of matter or actually an advanced state of water um, does not matter, but we are going to make the plasma water connection because that is the higher level intelligence that's coming in that all the water in our bodies and everything, an excellent conduit and will actually transform into a state of plasma and be more receptive as we go through the ascension process. Hold this in your heart. Magnetic fields can control the behavior of plasma. Plasma fusion reactors have not been perfected yet because plasma is unpredictable, unpredict right? Plasma never does the same thing. It has its own higher will. It has its own unified purpose. It has all of its ways and its energy fields, everything, trying to do something. So when they try to control it in like a plasmic, a plasma fusion reactor, which is all magnetic fields trying to hold it in place, they haven't perfected that because it always slips out. It never obeys the magnetic fields and they try to make them stronger and stronger and stronger to try to control <laughs> the reality of that plasma. And so far, um, nothing, no safe, stable um, creation has been made. Kind of feel that, right? The magnetic field trying to control a creation. Mm. Gaia's magnetosphere in the past has restricted our interaction with external energies, external plasma, because of its density, right? Its stability. Now that the magnetosphere is diminishing and getting unpredictable, during the ascension cycle, the magnetosphere reduction allows new plasma waves from the sun, the photon belt, stargate flows, multiverse, cosmic mother plaza, plasma, to enter our experience, right? An unstable and thin magnetosphere no longer can control the dense experience of what was. If you've studied with me for a while, you know about magnetics and how that holds realities in place. Magnetosphere starts getting wobbly or thin. All of a sudden, all of these beautiful energies can come in and start creating new expressions of form, new expressions of reality, right? Beautiful. So this new light, new plasma information influences water, plasma, consciousness, and form in Gaia's realms. These pure plasma influxes contain creation energies. Feel this, right? Cosmic mother returning Everyone has always talked about the return of the divine mother, return of the divine feminine. Here we glow. This is how this is unfolding. Instructions, codes, frequencies, harmonics, crystalline structures and plasma, right? Bringing in new information and charged particles, which inform all life here to do something new. Mm. So it literally gives us an opportunity to change matter from a dense dualistic expression. Magnetic's not there for that anymore, which is why you get all the dismantling and the literal dissolving of old creations. At the same time, we're birthing something new. Mm. Tapping into magnetics. A coherent heart, as many of you know, has a much stronger magnetic field. So it's been said in the range of 5,000 times stronger when you get your I am presence and your infinite Christ heart on your, the magnetic field of your heart now becomes a conduit allowing that new light, new plasma flows to come in. We all know that the Christ heart serves as a stargate 
serving as a conduit, influencer. Remember the influential properties of that higher vibrational plasma. When you allow it to flow through your heart, it creates a direct connection to those cosmic energies. This is why divine neutrality is such a key to a Christ unified, coherent heart field, that divine magnetic can keep your heart and fields open and pliable and discerning. So the old magnetic of judgment and duality doesn't block this new light that's coming in, doesn't try to keep recreating the same thing. All of a sudden you're open, pliable, ready, a conduit of those cosmic energies and especially cosmic mother, um, because it doesn't maintain a static state anymore. It's open. The magnetic field gets stronger, more aligned with being open to new light, being open and alignment with the qualities of cosmic mother plasma, cosmic mother herself. Another thing to note is unified magnetics also create plasma fields or fields like the infinite Christ field. Now the infinite Christ field has been built over eons, right? There's been the intention and then the energies and then masters. And now it's us, right? Now we are responsible for that infinite Christ field. And it's a prime example of this self-organizing principle. That's why those of you who are embodying the I am presence and allowing your heart to be that open conduit, you see your reality self-correcting. Notice the exact same thing that happens with plasma, or that's being discovered about plasma right now. The self-organizing principle is uh, coming into the field and into our own lives. So unified magnetics, you get a whole bunch of people resonating with that open magnetic to, to co-create that infinite Christ field that ampl amplifies that infinite Christ energy, starts allowing cosmic mother to come through in a stronger way, starts affecting the water and the plasma here, <sighs> really teaching us how to use unity consciousness in alignment with divine perfection, proper use of life force. So all of us, we create the conditions for this new experience, create that magnetic, create the crystalline structures, and then allow that new plasma, new light frequency to come right through you, to reveal itself through you, really.